Alrighty, time for another edition of Science Sunday. Of course, joined by Aoife Ryle of the Connecticut Science Center. You look great. <laughs> oh, I am ready to go. We are outside for multiple reasons. Yes. Uh, we're, we're maintaining safe physical distancing. Mm -hmm. We're outside of the Science Center because as well, it's going to get messy. Yeah, I figured why not make the most of the situation? Yeah. Uh, we're in a spot where we can make a mess, so let's make a mess. So physical distancing and, and physical reactions. Yes, yeah, yeah. exactly. So we're going to uh, look at physical reactions today. So different than a chemical reaction, none of our uh, the things involved are changing. Okay. Um, so we're not making a new substance. We're just changing the properties a little bit. So. Uh, you may have heard of the, the famous Diet Coke and Mentos <laughs> reaction, so we're going to talk about how it works. Um, so if you haven't seen it, um, you open up a new can of Diet Coke and you drop in a couple of Mentos, you get this fun reaction. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all that fizzling and yeah, bubbling, yep. but again, not a chemical reaction. Um, what's going on, there's carbon dioxide dissolved in that Diet Coke. Um, and the Mentos give those tiny little bubbles of carbon dioxide something to coalesce on. All right. So they make bigger bubbles and then all that carbon dioxide can escape. All right. So we're seeing all that carbon dioxide. Now escape. how important is it that it be Diet Coke? So um, regular Coke will work too. Diet Coke works a little bit better because it's got a lower surface tension and also it's not sticky because there's no sugar in it, so the cleanup's a little bit nicer. Oh, who cares about the cleanup? We're outside. Exactly. We'll help it rain soon. Yeah, so you want to make a bigger mess? That's of course. <laughs> so we have some bigger containers here. We have more Mentos in little loaders. Um, and if you try this at home, experiment. Try different temperatures. Try different amounts of Mentos, different types, different types of mints. You ready? It's a, now this, this sleeve equates to an entire package of Mentos. Yes, the whole package. And, and does the does the type of Mentos matter? We'll try it out. All right, there yeah. you go. Let's see if it <laughs> makes a difference. All right. <laughs> yeah, a little Diet Coke fountain. Beautiful. That is, it's like with the Bellagio. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, and, and like you said, the fruity ones I've heard make a quicker, faster explosion where the mint flavor makes a little bit of a longer explosion. So try different things out. Make sure you do it outside though. <laughs> yeah, kids don't want to do this at home, inside the house, yes. do it outside the home, yeah. <laughs> Maybe some proper uh, protective wear too. <laughs> Glad we didn't get too messy, too messy. All right, um, so experiments like this, at home fun, all can be found on a blog you guys are hosting. Yeah, yeah, so me and some of the other educators have been uh, writing up a lot of content like this that you can try at home, so you can hop over to our blog and check some of that out. It's really interesting, really displaced more than half. Yeah, I That's know. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. All right, um, Eva, thank you so much. And of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.